So my question to you, and I think it'll be helpful to share with the tippers, is what do you do when you get out of that, like, <laughs> what is that that fantasy land in the beginning when it's just like, I love, everything is great because mm-hmm. it's new. Mm-hmm. So when you get to like that mark, like a year mark or years, yeah, and whatever it is in the relationship, when it starts to fizzle, how do you keep the love alive? and Or how do you bring it back when it's, you know, when you don't feel like it's the same when it kind of first kicked off? Uh, yeah, I mean, the, you got to be careful of not losing yourself in the relationship, right? Mm-hmm. Like it's what you, is that? the two Talk of about you, that. Yeah. yeah, the two of you didn't come into this world together. You came in mm-hmm. as individuals. So you have to continue to work on yourself. Mm-hmm. You have to continue to exude excitement. You have to continue to get better, to... You know, like you, you're, you just got a new hairstyle. Continue to change your head. Continue to stay radiant. Continue to up. stay just the tea that they met. You know, the shade that they met. The, the, when I see relationships fall apart is when you get together with somebody and everything's all great. You know, you got that revenge weight. Because, you know, both of you just got into a relationship. <laughs> and you've been working hard to try to get someone. And you get someone and then you lose it. Right. Yeah. And so, like, you got to continue to work on yourself. Like I, when I do things that I feel are powerful, I can see Nafis being cheering me on and is excited. Mm-hmm. Like that's causing an attraction. That's you know, awesome. when he's going to school and he's getting degrees and he's talking about the future, I'm attracted to that. So it's yeah. like continuing to evolve together, together as individuals and not mm-hmm. think that everything is, it is, it is you, is it, it is a union, but it's also about you. And what you give to the world and what you exude, because that is what attracts people. That is what, to me, is long lasting. And now that I get to fall in love with the better version of this person each time is like so fucking exciting. So exciting. That's 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 what I would say. Yeah, I agree with you, as always. (laughs) On this topic. I mean, there are some times we disagree. <laughs> on this topic, correct. On this topic. Well, we're not um, always on the same page. No. <laughs> <laughs> and it's funny when we're not. So. Oh, no. We laugh about it. Right. Uh, but I agree. I also think, too, is, you know, Dr. Love talk, talked about, like, not losing yourself in a relationship because mm. sometimes you can, especially when you're like us, both of us are people pleasers and yeah. we'd want to really please our partner. We put everything into pleasing our partner that sometimes we may put ourselves on the back burner. So I agree with Dr. Love that, hey, continue, don't lose, don't lose sight of the things that you need that bring joy and happiness to your world. Yep. Also, don't be afraid to put yourself first. 